Hey everybody, Jeremy Blanton with 210 Consulting and I wanted to do a quick tutorial for one of my clients today and also hope it'll help someone else out there that might be wondering. Um, here's a site that I recently designed for someone and uh, down below you're going to notice here in the text there's a section where we've inserted this three column table and um, it's a bunch of different cities in her area and she wants to know okay how do I now go into this table and change it from just being a text over to a link uh, so let me jump into the back end here and I will show you how to do this so inside her site to make it easy for her to create more tables and add things and edit it I'm using a plugin called table press and it's over here on your left and I'm just gonna jump over to it and uh, you'll see in a moment that here is her table that we've done so far for the home page. I'm simply going to go in and edit this and it looks kind of like a kind of like the, a regular page or post would get into this. Uh, but you'll see down here, here is our table and we created it with three uh, three columns and ten rows. And um, we're just going to edit this box here for Absecon or Absecon I believe is how they actually uh, pronounce it properly. And so I just cleared out the text that was there. And I'm going to scroll down below here a little bit, and you'll notice there's a button that says Insert Link. Um, I'm already checked into that column, that cell block, and I'm just going to click OK to do this. Once I click OK and click on the box again, it now gives me the ability to place my link. I've already copied my link that I need to go directly to it, and then just simply put the text. And so I'm just going to type in Epsecon, hit Add Link. And it now changes it to some basic HTML. If you know HTML and want to just do it that way, you can. Uh, but it's much easier just to go down, hit that Add Link button and do it. And then we're going to simply hit Save Changes. We'll go back over here to her home page, refresh it. And we will now see that once this refreshes, and we scroll down here, that Absecon is now a link that when you click on it, it's going to go directly to the search that she has created inside her home search function or IDX. So that's how you create links inside TablePress um, for your WordPress site. Hope this helps.